Hey subscribers, today I'm getting ready to do my first service on my Pan America. Um, don't think the dealer was ready for me to have a thousand miles on it in less than two weeks, or right at two weeks, so um, I went and got the stuff to do it myself, um, and I figured I'd do the upgraded skid plate install at the same time. The, part number on that engine guard skid plate from Harley Davidson um, got the parts and the instructions out tools necessary uh, to do the oil change had to get a new oil filter here and the uh, o-ring to go on the drain plug of course I needed a new filter socket because it doesn't fit any of the previous ones from and I've got the sockets for filters back and for and instruction books from service manuals from Evos on down so I got my torque wrench out I got my impact driver I got my HD camera that I'm going to use for videoing up close stuff uh, oil for the engine um, Harley doesn't have the oil delivered to the dealers yet, so I went and got the Motec, Motorex, I guess is what they call it. It's the same stuff I used in my KTM and my BMW, just a different weight. Harley there says calls for a 15W40. The owner's manual doesn't state that. The owner's manual states the same 2050 Screaming Eagle oil that, that or synthetic blend oil that goes in all the rest of the motors. But the owner's manual is also incorrect on shift points because shifting out of first to second at 15 miles an hour lugs the heck out of this engine. They got a they got a few glitches to work out there. Of course, I got my Loctite out for tightening the fasteners. The bolts you use for the skid plate are the stock ones. You've got the grommets and the inserts to put in the skid plate. All looks like a pretty easy deal. I'm going to use the HD camera so that I can set it up stationary while I do this project and go over everything while I do it. The only thing I've got to say is the upload for my headlight guard install because of the speed of my internet at my house. It's a rule I don't have any high speed internet and um, it took three and a half days to load the HD video, which was 19 minutes. I'm gonna to have to edit my ride videos down. They're mostly 30 to 45 minutes, some longer. I can't begin to upload them. So I'm going to work on that. And um, this is just a preview of the first service and skid plate install. Hopefully the download on it when I finally do it will be faster. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, yes, I'm enjoying the bike. No, I've had no problems. Um, I've already done the first chain service. Um, just cleaned it, oiled it, checked the deflection. Everything is good. And um, can go on with it so those of you who had the question of why not shaft driven and and you know i wish it would wish it was shaft instead of chain don't fear the chain it's not much work it's pretty quick and easy you throw it up on the center stand spray it spray it off with a hose so some soapy water and then from there just roll it through a soft brush spray some uh, good o-ring style chain lube on it and be done with it not a big deal not a worry so i'm going to get all this done and get it uploaded as soon as possible because tuesday i've got a little vacation time and i'm going to go up to the mountains um do one of my favorite fire service roads going up from the rim country in arizona between payson and sholo down through a town called young arizona coming out by roosevelt lake back up through globe and around it's a nice long loop um you got blacktop you got twisties you got mountains you got four service roads you got some um, areas where you can get off the road there's some good dirt to ride in so cover everything i'll try to take short burst videos that will upload um, so i can share with you guys thanks for watching i'm going to post this now and start the start the other video with the other camera and see where it goes